In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use a slider control in Access and how an ActiveX slider control can help you enhance your application. Uh, slider controls aren't your normal controls. That is, you don't see them in your uh, Access toolbox here. Um, let me go ahead and expand this out. You'll see, you don't see a slider control here. But you will see a control called, or, or a selection called More Controls. If you click that, you'll see a list of all ActiveX controls. If you scroll down, you'll see a set called Microsoft Slider. Microsoft Slider can either come in version 5 or 6, depending on uh, what, um, what uh, version of Access you have. If you have 6, use it. If you don't, 5 will work fine. Uh, but basically, click on your slider, click on the form, and then you have a slider. Now, the slider has a couple of properties that you're going to have to set in order to uh, prepare it to use it. Right click on the properties, or right click on the slider, select properties, and you'll see a bunch of tabs here, just like you would any normal format or, no, or, or any normal control. You have a format tab, data tab, event tab, and all tab. Now, the other tab is unique to a slider. Um, what you want to do is you want to set three properties primarily. Uh, there's a whole set of properties that you can set and play around with, but only three are important. Uh, min and max and then the name. And the min and max tells us, or tells a slider, that uh, you want it to go from 0 to 100 or 0 to 10,000 or whatever you choose. Mine is going to be from 0 to 100. And then the name uh, designates a specific name for me to be able to call the slider through code. So I'm going to call this my slider. And Okay, so I have a slider that goes from 0 to 100 now, and I, I have to use this slider in conjunction with a text box. Click on the tools, bring in a text box here, do a little bit of formatting. Okay, so now my text box, I've got a, a set of one property basically. So right click, go to properties, and name is what I have to set, my text. And again, this is so I can um, distinctively call it um, through my code. All right, so I've got a text box and a slider. Now it's time to make them interact with each other. Right click on the slider control and go to properties, and you'll see an event tab. Now, ActiveX controls don't have all the uh, events that are available to them shown in the properties uh, box. And unfortunately, uh, th this particular set of events aren't really going to help you do what you got to do with the slider. But anyway, click on Updated, and then click the three dots. Go to Code Builder and press OK, and then you'll see that this uh, uh, Visual Basic Editor pops up with My Slider Updated. Well, you don't really want updated, you want it un on change. So go up here to the declarations drop down and select change. And now you have slider change. Now you can delete the updated. So on slider change, I want to do one thing. I want to say me my text box or text value equals me uh, my slider value. And that is it. Test this thing out. So if I change my slider to 68, 68 pops up. If I change it to 17, 17 comes up, 88. So that works. Now, what if I want to go the opposite way? What if I want to say 67 and hit enter? Well, I'm going to want my slider to pop to the position of 67 automatically. I want my communication to go two ways, not just one way. So I'll go back to form design, go right click on the text box and go to properties, event on after update and then code builder and I'm just gonna do the very opposite uh, me my slider value equals my text value okay let's try that out so I'll just type in 45 here my slider pops to 45 88 pops to 88 I'll change the slider to 15 that pops to 15 so there's now two-way communication with between my text box and my slider. Now, um, a lot of people ask me, how do I take this uh, slider and text box functionality and make it to work with percentages? Uh, that is, 0%, 25%, 35%. Well, the problem with a slider is, in the properties for min and max, if you go to the properties of the slider and try to type in 0.45, 
it won't let you do it. That's because the slider can only work with integers. Well, you can get around that by altering your code a little bit to divide your values or multiply your values by 100. Uh, for example, go to the text box to the event after update, and I'm going to alter my code to say uh, my text box value equals slider value divided by 100. Okay? And then slider value equals text value times 100. Okay, so that's saying that every time I change my slider, I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it into my text box and I'm going to divide that value by 100 because it's going to be an integer. I'm going to do just the opposite when I convert the text box value to a slider value. I'm going to multiply it by 100 so the, uh, text, so the slider can read it. You're also going to want to basically change this format to percent zero decimal places. Okay, so now we can go ahead and play this and see how this goes. I'm going to change my slider to 81. It's going to be 81%. 24, 24%. 10, 10%. Now I can type in 0 0.45, 45%, 0 0.76, 76%. So now I've got a slider that uh, basically works with percentages. Now, how do you use this in an application? Well, I've got an example of an application that I used a bunch of sliders on. This is an ROI and ROE calculator that I've created with Access, and it's nothing more than a table that holds a bunch of numbers, cost of goods sold, selling expenses, and all this good stuff. Uh, and I've got numbers here. Now, I can go ahead and type in a number here, 45,000, okay? And my slider automatically updates, and all these numbers automatically update until it finally gets me to a post-tax ROI and a ROE. Now, I've done a few th uh, coding tricks with the slider uh, that you can kind of look into yourself. Uh, basically when I s change the slider to the max, 40,000, it automatically expands the slider maximum to another 10,000. So you'll never run out of uh, th the end of the slider. So as you can see what I've done here is I've created a situation where I can slide these sliders back and forth to do some sort of a uh, what if analysis with this particular tool that helps me get my ROI and ROE. This is just one example of how you can use sliders uh, in your access application.